Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, and we are live. Good morning, everybody. It is early, bright and early. We're waiting for Todd. He'll be right in. So how's everybody doing this morning? Today we're going to have an auction, our usual Tuesday morning auction. So we'll start in just a little bit as soon as some people get the notifications that we are live and people start trickling in, we can start. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just sit here and wait, Todd. So how's everyone doing? How has sales been? How's eBay been? All that fun stuff. Hello, Mabel Bunny. How are you? Okay, so it looks like people are getting the notifications, so that's good. How is everyone doing? How have your sales been? Good, I hope. How has eBay been for everyone if you sell on eBay? It's been wonky. I've had good days, bad days, zero days, $100 days. It's been so up and down, it's crazy. And I think there's Todd, let's see. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, how are you? Oh, just swell. <laughs> we are live. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I had to restart my phone at the last minute. Uh, StreamYard would not open up for me. So, it's the way she goes. No worries. Yep, I wasn't yep. on time this morning either. I'm a few minutes late. Yeah. So how was your week? I haven't talked to you in a week. Um, not bad. Sales have just been like up and down and up and down and all over the place. But mm -hmm. the weekend was pretty good. Mm -hmm. How about for you? Uh, I'm still working on getting all my listings back up. Mm -hmm. um, but what I've done is... I decided to, rather than focus on the $5, $7 keychains, I need to get all this Mary Kay up. It just has to be, get get up. So yeah. um, everything that I've been shipping off has been Mary Kay. It's just crazy because that's primarily what I've been putting out. That's, so that's what I've been selling. Um, but I've got some good stuff for you guys today. So Wow. So that Mary yeah. Kay stuff does well then, huh? It does. It really, 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 really does. Yep, everything from foundation to lipstick, uh, all of it. And I'm learning a lot about it. it. They can get it cheaper from you than they can from a rep. They sure can. And, you know, so the main thing is a lot of it's discontinued, you know. So this stuff's yeah. already expired. But there's women out there that want this color. They have to have fig, rose, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And so they will they come to me and buy it. That's so crazy. anyways, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'm just waiting for some more people to come in and. All right. Well, let me say hi to we got here Mabel Bunny Mavis stuff. Hey, how you doing? We got JRK1964 or JRKR. Uh, Barb Lee. Good morning, Barb Lee. Jan, how you doing, Jan? Thanks for being here. Good morning, everybody. We were talking yeah. about snow. We got we have snow like literally falling from the sky right now out there it's pretty cool i'm excited wow i mean it's a little bit chilly here but not like snow weather yet it's um let me check my weather report <laughs> i think yep. it's it's 62 it's uh, nice outside <laughs> that's perfect 62 yeah. to 75 is just right yeah it's 62 today's gonna be like 90 yeah which is cool yeah. for us i guess yeah anything exciting happen recently um no not really um i got a new truck oh my gosh you're kind so that's pretty cool yeah ford it was kind of huh ford or chevy um or toyota. toyota toyota nice tacoma yeah yeah sweet yeah it was time to trade in the mommy van <laughs> yeah i'm for are another you gonna, are you gonna go take it off any sweet jumps uh, no, <laughs> no, I've got to make this one last probably yeah. forever. This might be my last car. I don't know. We'll yeah. They go yeah. forever. So they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, congratulations. That's awesome. 
Thanks. I'm excited. I love the thing. Every time you get in, it's like, ah. Yeah, yeah. the new car smell is the best. Yeah, for sure. No, I love it. I haven't had a new car for a while, so it's nice. Yeah. Sweet. And like my van, it was practically new, but it still had 5,000 miles on it when we bought it. So it, what, it didn't have that like new car smell mm -hmm. when I got that thing. So it was nice to finally trade it in. Barb's asking, where are you two located to have such opposite weather? <laughs> I'll let you go first. Opposite. first. <laughs> so I'm in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Where are you, Todd? Well, I know where I'm you in, are. <laughs> I'm in Minnesota. 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 Yep. Yeah, my husband's a Vikings fan. Oh, yeah? Sweet. Yeah. Wait, let me turn off my... Put my phone on... Oh, that's the wrong button. Where are you, where are you located at, Barb? Let me guess. Let me guess where you're located. I bet you are in Texas. Are you in Texas, Barb? A lot of people in Texas. <laughs> Mikey, <so>. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been really disappointed with football this year, so he hasn't really watched it at all. Yeah. He's just he's upset about. Well, I really don't want to get into it too much here, but he's upset about um, just the whole political nonsense that's going on with football and he's yeah. like it's not even fun anymore to watch a game because there's so much drama and he's right. like i just want to you know on sundays i just want to chill have a beer watch a game and have some fun and it's becoming like this political bs he's like, i don't even i don't even care <laughs> yeah so for sure I'm going to move my laptop over real quick because I keep having to look this way and the camera's right here. I know. I look all over the place because I've got one screen over here, one screen over here, the camera over there. I'm going to try and keep them together so I can just like only have to divert my eyes. Yeah. Okay. I'm all over. That's good. Okay. There we go. Chat camera. Wisconsin. Hey, how's it going? I'm waving to you in Wisconsin. You were about, uh, well, the other side of Minnesota from here. So you're like, probably 400 miles away but how's it going over there and barb is head. that's probably why she said the vikings no yeah north of chicago okay near the wisconsin border okay so you guys are all up here by me good deal close to green bay good deal so who's in auction mode this morning who's ready to see some cool stuff and consider things because we've got some i know i've got some cool stuff and i'm positive you've got some cool stuff i think so yeah i think i've got some cool stuff i usually you know only sell clothing so i try to mix it up today not just lots of clothes yeah florida mabel's in florida nice and jan welcome jan outside of savannah do we, we need, need to, to register, register? No, you do not need to register to um, to bid. Just send us your information if you do win something. So we have your address and all that good information. If you sent it before, then most likely we already have it. And I've got my little handy dandy book of addresses and all my people in here. So every time somebody buys something from me, I will create a space on here. And so let's say Jan buys some. God bless you. Uh, did you sneeze? No, it was my dog. Oh, well, God bless your dog. <laughs> no, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. Jan, I would write your name, first and last name here. I will then write your address here. And then I will start lines of different products that you purchase and the date that you buy it. So I can keep track of everybody. I know that people use computers nowadays, but I'm an old school cars guy. And I always use three by five cards. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm ready to see what you have, though. <laughs> no, he has a little tiny bark. He's letting me know he needed to go out. Oh, I thought he sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What yeah. kind of dog is that? It's a poodle. Oh, He's cute. A teacup, a teacup poodle. Oh, what's his name? <laughs> He's like a little rat. He's only like six pounds. What's his name? Winston. Winston, like Churchill? I don't know. We didn't name him. We got him. Um, he was a rescue dog. Mm -hmm. 
So he was already like three years old when we got him and his name was Winston. So we didn't want to change it. Gotcha. <laughs> Figured it might be too hard to like retrain him and <laughs> right. retrain hey, Bob. his name. <laughs> hey, name. Hey, Bob. Bob, yeah. Bob, he'd be like, what? Who are you talking to, man? Who's that? Yeah. So our other dog, though, he's like about, I don't know. He's a chubby monkey. He's probably like 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. And um, he's a rescue, too. But we changed his name when we got him because he was only one. Mm. So <laughs> we changed his name because they, ha they had named him Angus. Oh, geez. And like Angus Young. It's just a weird name, so we changed yeah. it. And my son changed it to Mr. Sniffers. <laughs> That's it. It's, a good one. it's appropriate. He is, he's like a little sleuth. I mean, he's all over the place, sniffing everything. <laughs> uh, he never stops sniffing. <laughs> That's awesome. My cat is larger than your doggy. Yeah, he's just little, but he thinks he's like a big giant dog. <laughs> he thinks he's tough. He's not afraid of anything, though. No. I mean, you know, big giant dogs have come on our property before. Even a coyote has come up on our property before, and he thinks he's just tough. <laughs> I had to like run and grab him because the coyote was like creeping up from the bushes. Mm -hmm. And so I had to run and grab him. Come here, Winston. And then, you know, my husband stepped in between us and the coyote. And I'm like running to get him in the house. I'm like, man, you'd be a snack for that coyote. What are you trying to do? Right. It's like a Snickers. Yeah. So how many people we got in here now? Eight. Eight people. We got eight people. Do you want to wait for a little bit more or you want to get going? Uh, it's up to you because you're going first because ladies first. And... Last week, I had asked everybody that was watching, what kind of products are you looking for? What would you like us to put on? And mm -hmm. someone said, unique doorknobs, vintage doorknobs. I didn't find any of those. Then someone else, I think was the same person, said uh, baseball cards. So, Did you find I, baseball cards? I came through for you guys. Yep. Oh, I man. Did. I have a ton of baseball cards. Yeah. These are not loose. These are, not, these are like, you'll see. So, oh, cool. media, media, video games. Video games. Okay. Oh, I don't have either one of those. Oh, I'm sure I could. I never that. find video games here. Um, yeah. yeah, all of the thrift stores. Man, the thrift store prices are crazy expensive right now. Yeah. And um, I tried to go to some yard sales. It's definitely our yard sale season right now. So yeah. I tried to go to some yard sales and then my friend got called to work. So we had to come back home. That sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause she's been on call with the casino and it really sucks. Cause um, she's my best friend and she lives like a couple houses down. So oh, nice. we're always doing stuff together, but yeah. being on call makes it hard. Cause they'll literally call her and then be like, you need to be here in an hour. Yeah. And then it's like, ah, uh, yeah. And so we got to go home. Huh. Good morning, buying space. Good morning. That's Myra. Myra. Right? Yeah, Myra. I, I remember. I remember everybody's names, but forgive me <laughs> if I don't. I try. Well, I guess I can start. All right. Um. Oh. Let me start with this really cool thing since i'm cold right now i'll start with this this is oh let me um uh, i'm gonna make a screen it. yeah oh. okay so this is really cool let me back up so you can see everything this is a poncho okay so this is a poncho so it's got the v-neck opening here and it's like a blanket it's really soft yeah, and it's got cool. stars mm -hmm. and then it's got some planets and some i don't guess comets or shooting stars there at the bottom and then some fringe and it's the same thing on the on the opposite side 
Very cool. It's got mm-hmm. Saturn shooting mm-hmm. stars. Yep, Saturn shooting stars. Oh, and then I go. Okay, my camera doesn't like to focus. So this is a really cool poncho. Um, I'm starting it at ten dollars plus shipping. What's made of? Um, you know, it doesn't have any tags on it at all. You can see the opposite side. Does it feel like a like a chamois? No, material it feels or? like um, kind of like a Mexican blanket, if you know what that feels like. So that's like a, a heavy. It's heavy then. No, it's not that heavy. It's pretty thin. No. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a blanket, but it's, it's not super heavy. Okay. I don't know if you can see huh. it. Where do you think that was made? Like True US Allegiance flag. How are you, my friend? I haven't seen you for a long time, and I just wanted to say, um, I saw post on Instagram and I'm so so sorry to hear about your son I hope that everything is going to be okay um because I do follow you and your wife on Instagram so you are in my prayers my friend um so this this is I lost my train of thought now so I saw okay uh it's, it's thin. It's not super thick. I don't know if you can s- kind of see mm-hmm. like the thickness here, but it's got this nice fringe on the end. It's almost like a thin, um, like a tapestry, more like a tapestry than um, a Mexican blanket, I guess. Okay. Like a tapestry throw. Yeah, but it has this really cool. cool design on it. That's great for lounging around, for listing. Yeah, for lounging around or just to wear over you know if it's just a kind of a cool fall day and not like super cold Mm -hmm. this would be nice oh good i'm i'm glad to hear that you're doing okay um yeah so 10 bucks plus shipping is going to be the starting i'd love to sell these on ebay and on Poshmark. I find this a lot in the thrift stores and people don't pick them up and I'm not sure why, but um, like I just sold one recently for $60 on Poshmark. Oh, they're pretty nice. Keep you warm. We're just watching TV, you know, like a, like a Snuggie. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh yeah green and blue and brown yeah really nice i like the theme yeah it's kind of a really cool pattern it's unique and i looked all over the internet for one just like this and i can't find there's not one out there that i have found that is just like this Mm -hmm. it usually has usually has more of a southwest look to them and that has yeah. a lot of both, but that, that theme is just killing me. It's awesome. It's very unique, and I yeah. haven't seen another one like it. I wish it had tags on it, but there are no tags, so I don't know who made it. Wow. Thank you, Barb. Barb is in for $10. So anyone nice. want to come in for 12 Or the last week, I... Little, let me see right there. It's part of the fabric, though. Mm-hmm. It looks like um, it, it was a repair or something, but it's not. It's just part of the nature of the fabric, I guess. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a diamond. It's just an inclusion. Yeah. It. <laughs> character. Adds character, exactly. It's nice. And it's warm, too. It is cold in here right now. I think it's colder in my house than it is outside. Because <laughs> we run the air conditioner even at night. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it's so noisy outside. So we run the air conditioner just to mm-hmm. keep the noise at bay. And we have crazy dogs in our neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So um, we run the air so we can sleep. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Uh, no one else is interested, so I think we're going to sell it to Barb for 10 Oh, Ooh, Barb. That's a deal. Congratulations. That is really cool. All right. Sold to Barb. Thank you, Barb. You'd rather be cold than hot. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be cold than hot, too. But... But, you know, over here, the um, it's always hot. So <laughs> I guess I can't Viva. complain too much. There's always blue skies. Yeah. Most of the time. I'm just um, entering this in my little computer here. So I know who I sold it to. Alrighty. Todd, you are up, my friend. Alrighty. Well, this first one is going to be for the ladies. And this is something that is very, 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 very cool. Looks like a, just a basic little wallet, right? Just a basic wallet, whatever. But you open it up, and it has little dividers for tickets, receipts, documents, and other. Okay? But it also has a place for your license, all your credit cards, and a strap. It's brand new. This is Mary Kay. <laughs> this is Mary Kay. And uh, I'm starting this at, uh, well, it's going to be five bucks to ship it. And we'll start it at five bucks. Yeah, wow. Started at five bucks. So this is so cool because it's a purse that a gal can take to, uh, well, she can use it for her whole life to organize her life, man. That would have been awesome, like during my couponing days. Isn't that cool? I was like, wow, look at that. And then it has a zipper up front that you can put all your cashola. It's uh, black. I don't know. If it's I don't know if it's leather. Does Mary Kay make leather? It feels like leather. It looks like leather. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I have to look inside. Um, but it's got another pocket in the back. Hey, Perlini. So, like I said, five bucks plus shipping, five bucks, and there we go. Thank you, Rose, Crystal. Oh, Rosie. That's all right. Um, yeah, this is very cool. Pink and black flowers inside. That's the signature Mary Kay right there. Pink and black. Yep. Is it even possible to coupon nowadays? I don't know. Um, yes Crystal. and no. So there are some stores that are accepting coupons and there are other stores that are not. Um, but it's almost impossible to find like, you know, free items and it's it's hard. I'll say that. It's hard. I mean, I used to have like a giant stockpile and um, you know, I was into the extreme couponing end of it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty difficult nowadays. I used to have a friend that we used to do all kinds of shows together with. And she was a reseller. And she changed up her genre. Uh, I haven't talked to her in a long time. I hope she's doing good. I'm sure she is. But she went to couponing. Oh, and yeah. You know uh, what I'm talking about? Alma. No. Used Alma. To be, yeah, Alma. Yeah, I'm a mod on her channel, so I still yeah. pop over there okay. uh, whenever I can and help her out. But yeah, she she was doing She's couponing. Cool. Yeah, and her channel blew up once she switched genres. It was crazy. That's yeah. awesome. So JRKR is in for five. Does anyone yeah. want to come in for seven? Seven, seven, seven. Can I see seven? Is there a seven out there? Seven. Show me seven. Uh, I, was, I watched a couple of those shows, uh, auction shows. Good morning, Lisa. Lisa, what's up, Lisa? Probably yeah, this is super cool. Consultant reward. Yeah, probably that's possible. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot I of. Mary sold, I never sold Mary Kay. My sister did, but I sold um, Avon, and I sold Avon for two, like ten or twelve years. I sold Avon. Wow. So I have all kinds of awards and things like that from Avon. But Did you sell a lot of uh, black suede? <laughs> yes. That was yeah. my favorite. That's I wish I could get my hands on some. Some black suede? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, that was one of my colognes of choice. Yeah, I think that's in my husband's medicine cabinet right now. <laughs> you know why? It's because uh, Dave, my best friend Dave, his mom sold Avon. So she always had, oh. he always had black suede and whatnot. Yeah. All right. We're going to, 
we're going to go and let this go to whoever just bid on this thing. Who was it? Five? They are, they are four, five. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my, my PayPal dilly here. You never uh, got the hang of couponing. You did some of it, but you never got the hang of it. I did a couple of um, videos kind of a ways back when I was really into it before, you know, the whole COVID thing. Um, my favorite place probably to coupon is at CVS. Well, here anyways. It's hard to get coupons here. And there are no stores that do like double coupons. Mm -hmm. All right. Congratulations. That's a pretty cool wallet. That's awesome. All right. Let me see. What am I going to do? Okay. I'm going to do these things. Okay. And let's, did we tell them that, uh, when they send their payment to the email right there, Todd Rendon or to crystals, whatever, whichever, uh, to make sure you put your address and the item that you bought just so we can uh, cross-reference it to our notes here to make sure I send you the right product. Cause I'd hate to send the wrong product. Okay. So leave your address that you want to send to what you got and we'll get it out there. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Crystal. You've tried CVS, but all couponers that beat you to everything. Yeah, see, that's the key is to go like as soon as the sale starts. Otherwise, or at the very, very tail end of it when they're restocking right before they switch the tags. Because I know we have some major couponers here too in Las Vegas. You've probably seen a few of them on the that extreme couponing show because they've done a couple of like local places here. And man, they beat me to everything. All right. So I have these really cool um, wooden bowls. So they're by a company called Ozark. Um, Ozark Native Wood Products in Missouri. And this is Black Walnut. And here's the bowl, and I have two different, um, there's two different kinds. So this one is like a little bit deeper. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. This one is a little more rounded, and this one's a little bit deeper. They're almost the exact same size, but they're just different on the inside. So I have a set of four of these, and then a set of four of the other ones. But they're all black. They're all black walnut from the Ozark Company. Hmm. Um, they are used, so you can see there are a few. I'm trying to get the light so you can see. There are a few little scratches in the bottom. Um, yeah, a little pledge will take that out. I'm just joking. <laughs> Unless you, I mean, it depends on what you're going to use them for. True. Yeah. So uh, if you can use them for decoration, that would be great. But if you're going to eat out of them, then no. <laughs> <laughs> are they are they salad bowls then? Would those be considered salad bowls? I guess so. That's what I would use them for. Would be like yeah. a salad bowl um, because mm -hmm. I have eight of them. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm going to start these at ten dollars plus shipping, and you get all eight. So here. Trying to show you the inside. The deeper one doesn't really have um, scratches in them. Mm -hmm. They look pretty new. It's these more shallow ones that where you can see some scratches in the bottom. I like it because they're each unique. They have these really cool um, designs and swirls. Yeah, have you ever watched uh, any of these wood turning channels where they make stuff? Yeah, actually, um, True Allegiance, who was just in here, uh -huh. um, he makes some really amazing designs out of wood. Okay. Like custom designs. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty satisfying to watch it, that kind of stuff. That yeah, he, and, does some, uh, he does some really cool videos, like on, um, what is that? <clears throat> that app that all the kids are on these days. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, TikTok, you know MySpace. <laughs> uh, I think it's TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. I've heard MySpace is coming back. I don't know. It probably will. You know, if it gets if it's long enough, it'll be vintage and that'll be cool again. I was never on MySpace. No. No, I like cool. I really didn't do the Facebook thing either until um, I started getting more into YouTube and the auctions and stuff like that. And then I was kind of forced to. Yeah. So the wooden bowls, um, it's 10 bucks plus shipping to start. And you get all eight. Well, here's the tag on the back. That looks kind of... This one has um, like this circle, but it's not drilled all the way through. So I'm not sure what that was for. Hmm. It's weird. And that one. Oh, I know what that's for. That's how they probably turned it. That's probably where they had to break it off or whatever, you know? Oh, maybe. Because it's not with the sticker. So maybe sticker it's under that sticker. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You're right. You can see it there. Yep. Just barely underneath the sticker. Mm -hmm. Smart. Although these don't have it. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Only the shallow okay. ones. The deeper okay. ones don't, but they do have this little bump right there. I've got one. Look mm -hmm. how pretty that is, though. Mm -hmm. Those would be cool with candles in them. I could see like a round ball candle or a tall candle. Or... Those would be good candles. for your... This is your... like this yeah. little... Can yeah, candy dish. Yeah, or, you know, just put on your hat jewelry. Oh. There you go. <laughs> That's a new look. Anyone interested? If not, we can pass and move it on back to Todd. Good morning, reseller man. Reseller man. I thought it was funny when I was sending out his package the other day and I was writing reseller man and yeah I can just picture like dun 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely reseller man. Put your hands on your hips and like <laughs> yeah I think it I think it was David that was looking for uh he said sports cards so if that was you buddy sports cards oh man I have a buttload of sports cards too <laughs> well all um they're all baseball cards but yeah. All right. So I guess we're going to pass on the bolts. That's cool. And I'll pass it back over to you. All righty. Well, I'm just going to look right back over here and grab one of these. Oh, wow. I'll wait for the delay. All right. Like that. Uh oh. Don't do that. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I can't stretch. <laughs> <laughs> right off the top. Oh no, what happened? Uh, your picture flipped. There we are. Okay. Whew. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden it said Verizon something. Okay, so what these are are from 1987. It's a full box or display, actually, huh? Yeah. Of these oh man this is so cool spring wow. fever baseball uh 1987 tops major league the real one win a trip to the 1988 spring training 17 bubblegum cards and one stick of bu bu bubble gum i wonder how that tastes so uh, i'm gonna weigh this thing out real quick too because i'm sure it's heavy but there are how many is in here? 36 packs. And in each pack, there are 17 cards. So 17 times 36 is, I don't know, let me do my long math here. 36, 17, 7, and 6 is uh, 7, 5, 35, so that's 42, 21, 25, 0, 6, 3, 2, 11, 3, 4, 5, 6. 612? Yep. Okay, 
been a long time since I multiplied. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so there's 612 cards total. I guess Mintola. I don't know if it's Mint, but let me weigh it out because it is heavy. And then I'll give you a, a number. We're going to start these here at 20 bucks a box. Now, can those go media? Look them up. Oh, hold up. Zero it out. Three pounds, four ounces. So after it's all said and done, it's going to be three pounds, eight ounces. So it's got to be like uh, probably seven bucks to ship it. So 20 bucks plus seven shipping is where we're starting this bad boy at. Can those go media mail? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know either. Does I'm anybody in chat know? On media. And basically, I've got a total of nine of these guys. Nine of these. So I don't know how many cards that is, but it's a lot. And they're all full. Baseball cards, 20 bucks plus shipping. And let's read off some of the names here. Well, the first one here is uh, Dave Rigetti. Uh, Gary Carter's on the side. Ron C. Cecil Cooper. Wade Boggs. 1987. It says, save this box. Attention, retailer. There are two of a limited edition of eight exclusive baseball cards printed on the back of this box, inside and out. Stock top, uh, stocked. I guess I should put my glasses on. Uh, stock tops baseball cards and collect the full set or save them for your customers who collect limited edition sets. So in box one, there's a Don Baylor, Steve Carlton. Box two, Ron C, Cecil Cooper. So this must be box two, possibly. Box three, Ricky Henderson and Jim Rice. Box four, Don Stutton and Dave Winfield. How do I figure out what box this is? There are two limited edition of eight exclusive baseball cards printed on the back of this box. Oh, okay. So these are the, the two exclusives that are in there. All right. I'm getting it down now. Yeah, they were 40 cents back then. So if you look these up on eBay, a full box is going for like 50 bucks. Wow. Yep. 50 bucks. What do we start this at? 20 bucks plus shipping? Yes. So, you know, whether you want to open them up, piece them out, figure it out, there's some stuff in here. Um, and I've got, like I said, nine more boxes or eight more boxes over there. So we'll see who else is in there. Is there anybody in on this one? If not, we'll pass it over to Crystal and I'll throw these bad boys up on eBay. Yep. And I just looked it up. Baseball cards are not media mail. Okay. Thank you. PSA, a Ricky Barry Bond sold recently for 75 bucks. There you go. Okay, Crystal, you are up, my friend. Okie dokie. We collected the wrong cards. Started collecting for my son in early 90s. He could care less about them. And 90s cards aren't going for much. Well, just hang on to them. Maybe they will as they get older. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know much about cards. All right, let me get this out of the bag. This is Barbie Rockers. This is from the 80s. It does work. I have tested it. And I'm going to start this at $10 plus shipping. This is a cassette player, Barbie and the Rockers. Oh, here's the top, and here's the back. It has this little clip here, so you can wear it on your belt if you want. Um, or it has this like crossbody strap, so you can wear it. It even has which I couldn't get this um, microphone to work very well. It does work, but it doesn't work very well. 
So the microphone comes with it. It has a little bit of, it's been smushed basically mm -hmm. right there. Um, but it does have the, um, the cord that hooks there on the side. It just plugs in right there. You can sing along with your cassette. So ten dollars to start plus the shipping, and it does work. About, I tested it. Is that about nineteen ninety two, three, four? No, I think it was eighty. Wait, Eight. let me look. It, let me look it up again. I didn't write it down. I suppose with those colors and stuff and the splashing, yeah, it's probably eighty seven, eighty eight then. I'm just throwing out numbers. <laughs> 87. Cool. 87, I was in eighth grade. In 87, I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does work. I don't have a cassette sitting right here that I can show you. But I think you it's... What's that? I was going to say, there's you don't have a new edition tape sitting right there? A new edition? No. Did you, uh, you didn't listen to new edition? I have a Nirvana. Nice. <laughs> You're welcome, Lisa. I'm glad you got it quickly. Let's see if it'll work without the... Yeah, you can see it spinning. Yeah. So it does work. I still have the batteries in there to test it, so it's pretty cool. And I didn't see this exact one selling on eBay. There are some of the newer looking ones, mm -hmm. um, but not this one. There's you know who that. needs that? That lady who thinks she's Barbie and has had all that plastic surgery and stuff? She oh, needs that in her really accessories not. collection. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of scary. Now, I had a um, a voice teacher when I was in high school, and his wife had an entire room dedicated to her Barbie collection. Hmm. It was crazy. No one interested. Man, that is so this cool. Thing is guys. really cool. I love cassette players. I've got several. I don't have any, so maybe I'll just keep it if nobody wants it. <laughs> I uh, I like to use them when I'm mowing the lawn. I'll just throw mm -hmm. in a tape and go for it. Yeah, I use my I playlist on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's okay. We can pass on it. No big deal. All right. Uh, your turn, Todd. All righty. Up next, for your consideration, this is for the fellas. Well, no, not necessarily. This is for everybody, I guess. But it's, it's a belt buckle. But it's a big old buffalo nickel belt buckle. Oh, that's cool. Isn't it? I thought it was. Don't know what kind of metal it is. Uh, looks like it's cast. I can see some kind of marks here. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's cool. It's about I'll grab a tape measure. It is three inches in diameter. It weighs three ounces. So this will go in a little eight by six poly kind of thing. So it'll be four ounces. So this is going to be 283. Uh, so we'll call it three bucks for shipping. Three bucks for shipping. And we'll start this at five bucks. Five bucks. Five dollarinis. Who's in on that? Super cool, man. And I need to just look for a belt that I can put on some of these belt buckles that I have. Because I've got some cool belt buckles that I would wear. But I don't have just like a universal belt you can snap on and snap off yeah yeah but this is super cool boss sense 
I remember receiving Buffalo head nickels as a kid and thought they're, oh man, they're just so great. Very neat. Anybody in on that? Dun, dun, dun. It looks like it's not necessarily 3D, but it does protrude forward off of the dealie just a bit. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Bison. It's a bison. It's a buffalo. Now, are bison and buffalo the same? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Maybe you're someone out there is a fan of NDSU. Tatanka. Tatanka. <laughs> it's about this big. Like y'all are going. That is cool, man. All right, well, <laughs> nobody buys this. So I'm going to end up buying it. Okay, so it looks like it clips this way. Does Is there a, you know how zippers, if it's on one way, it's a guy's. If it's on the other way, it's a girl's. Are belt buckles the same? Is there a oh, certain way? Oh, I have no idea. I, I don't, I wear them both ways, so I don't know. Yeah, that's a question <laughs> I never even thought of. All right. If there's no one in on that, we're going to go ahead and pass. And we're going to move these things right along because uh, there's no sense in just pounding a dead buffalo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're up, Crystal. Okay. It says people are buying cassette players on YouTube. They seem to want the Walkmans. Well, I mean, this does have the, the plug on the side. So instead of using the um, microphone, you could probably plug your headphones in there. Yeah. Um, Oops, where'd my mouse go? There it is. So yeah, it does have the little thing on the side. You could plug your headphones in there. You could also plug in a, a cord. Um, RC or like a, yeah. a yeah DC adapter instead of using batteries too. So you could use it as a Walkman, I would assume. It's a pretty big one, but you could use it as that. That's a cool display piece for Barbie collectors, you know. It's like yeah. a, a large accessory because it looks just like those little tiny ones. And the reason I say that is I've got something to show you guys here in a minute. Oh, from bar like the actual Barbie ones? Mm-hmm. It looks yeah. like just a, a blown up version of it. I think it's pretty cool. I really do yeah. like it. It is pretty neat. All right. Um, I'm going to do some Starbucks mugs. Okay. I'm going to start these at five dollars each plus shipping and it's choice so i've got dallas and they're nice and brand new inside so there's dallas the other side looks like that starbucks on the bottom i have chicago Bottom, the inside, brand new. And this one's a little bit different. This one is San Francisco and it says City by the Bay. These destination mugs are pretty collectible. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then on the back, it has what does this say? Oh, it tells you about San Francisco on the back. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. So they're $5 each plus shipping and it's choice. I would keep these, but I have way too many. Starbucks mugs. Both me and my mom worked at Starbucks. <laughs> we have tons of um, tons of Starbucks stuff. Dallas, Chicago. Yeah, this one that I'm drinking out of right now is a Starbucks mug. These are cool though. You can ride on them. And then <laughs> see my son wrote on it. When he was uh, little. Yeah. This is a cool oh. one. Do you have to bake it after or it just stays on? Yeah. There? So it comes with a little marker and then you can write on it and then you bake it in the mm -hmm. oven and then it's dishwasher safe after that. 
Nice. That's super cool. We've had that one for, I don't know. I should have dated it and I didn't. 2010. Wow. So 10 years ago. Yeah. Remember Shrinky Dinks? Yes. Those are super cool. <laughs> Those were cool. Did you ever put the chip bags in the oven? No. What okay. So we used to get like the, you know, the single serve chip bags, yep. the little yep. ones. And we would punch a hole in the top and then we would put those in the oven just like you do shrinky dinks and they would mm -hmm. get all small and tiny like a shrinky dink. And then we mm -hmm. would stick our um, hoop earrings through it. And so we'd have like these little chips on our, no on our way. Yeah. Oh, don't tell Caroline that. She'll be like, dad. <laughs> Try it. It's fun. Uh, we'll do that. We will. Make sure you poke a hole in it first before you. Uh... Do you take the chips out? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you have to ask. Eat the chips and then poke a hole in the bag so you can hang it on your necklace or your earrings or whatever you want to do with it. Mm -hmm. Make like a charm out of it. Man, you could do a whole set earrings, necklace, bracelet. Yeah. Be all Doritoed out. <laughs> mm hmm. That's what we used to do. That's crazy. Or you can like move arms, you know, hang them on your bracelet and watch and stuff. Tomorrow morning on Etsy, you'll see me. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. Just, who has to, I don't got time for that. All right. If no one's interested. Nobody well, drinks yeah. coffee? Come on, guys. I mean, even yeah. I'm bringing down a Starbucks mug this morning. Well, and then the Starbucks mugs, too, they sell well on eBay. Like, these are probably twenty dollars or more each mm -hmm. yeah what the heck uh, I All like right. this. this is a 14 ouncer Hold on. a 14 ouncer it's 14 ounces 2003 starbucks i don't know yeah. how many ounces this is i bought this to sell but it's just a good size you know yeah I don't know. I'm guessing this is probably like 16, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Alrighty. Welcome, Jarhead. How are you? What's up, buddy? How you doing? All right. Uh, you're up. Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to go a whole different direction. And I'm going to show you guys a print. It's on gold foil. This is something that you can frame. And let me read it to you because that's where, where it's all at. It's called A Way of Life by Sir William Ulster. It says, A Way of Life. Listen to the exhor exhortation of the dawn. Look to this day, for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all the varieties and realities of your existence, the bliss of growth, the glory of action, the splendor of beauty. For yesterday is but a dream, and tomorrow is only but a vision. But today, well-lived, makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Look well, therefore, to this day, such is the salvation of the dawn. Just really, really freaking cool, man. Yeah, that is a nice... It's nice very motivating. It's heavy. It's lots of stuff. So, yeah, we're going to start this out at five bucks. Plus shipping, be three bucks because it'll be two eighty three. So round her up to three bucks, so eight bucks, and you have something to just set on your desk, even like in an easel. You could just set this in an easel, you know, a small easel. Or, yeah, that'd be nice. You know, go to the dollar store and buy yourself an eight by, what is eight by ten, eight by eleven? Let me check it out. The frame, throw it in the frame. Super cool. That is, um, yeah, eight by eight by ten, actually. Eight by ten is the full setup. Dun, dun, dun. It's just, oh, blank on the back, obviously. And these are vintage. Um, there's this place that I, I go to, it's called Tools and More, it's in Lake Park, Minnesota. Uh, one of my sponsors or was at one point of the bag videos. Um, that's where I got these and everything I get there is old. 
I mean, they're, everything is old. So yeah. these have, this has to be from like at least the 70s, early 80s. It's not dated. Um, I bet, I would imagine it's put out by Brown and Biglow um, out of Minnesota. Can't be for sure on that, but I have so much of their stuff that I think this might be one of them. So anyone in on that? If not, we're going to move it on over. Good morning, Lobster. Good morning. Can you show them uh, again, please? Yeah, yeah show I'm them again. In the mugs. Yeah, I'll show you again. Yeah. Um, just after we finish with Todd, I'll show them. All right. I think we're good there. What's that in my nails? Oh, that's wax in my nail. I'm like, what's that in my cuticle right there? It's wax because I was using uh, wax to clean off my camera lens. Okay, you're up, Crystal. All righty. Okay, so the mugs, I'll show you again. I've got um, the San Francisco one. That's the front and the back. Sorry for the light. I've got Dallas and Chicago. Both of these, they're new inside. So Dallas, Chicago, and San Francisco. Which one would you like or ones if you want more than one? We got three. Good morning, Perla. How are you? Okay. Just let me know which one you're interested in. Chicago. Okay, you got it. That is Chicago. Put that one aside. <clears throat> <clears throat> I lost my voice there for a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so there is my email. If you could just shoot me an email with your information. All righty. And that is to this event. Thank you very much. Okay, so the item I have is these really cool popsicle makers. They're silicone, kind of like squeeze pops, so you can squeeze it up from the bottom. But you can make your own, so whatever type of juice you want or Kool-Aid or whatever. And they have the lids that pops in the top there, and they are like leak proof. So I've got, how many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. There is eight of them total, plus the lids. And I'm starting these at five bucks plus the shipping, which they're super light, so it'd be a couple dollars to ship it. So all different colors. Really fun for the kids or for yourself. Put, uh, you can even put yogurt in here, make like frozen yogurt. I do those for my dogs in the summer. Uh, we put yogurt and then they have their little like frozen yogurt pops. They're spoiled. <laughs> so it's um, $5. Plus shipping to start. Howdy, Precious. And let's see, I've got the lids. Sorry, I missed it. What, what those are. I had to run upstairs and go check on Samantha. They are popsicle molds. Oh. So like, like a squeeze pop, you know, you can put yeah. Huh, cool. They're silicone, and then you yeah. put whatever you want in there. Yeah, we use ours for um, 
for our dogs during the summertime, mm -hmm. we put yogurt and then we throw mm -hmm. these in the freezer and then they have like these frozen yogurt pops. Wow. Spoiled. They are spoiled, but they can't have ice cream. So frozen yogurt, True. they can have that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, there we go. There's the lids, all different colors. There's eight of them. Welcome back, Barb. Welcome back. Yeah, you can put juice, yogurt, Kool-Aid, uh, whatever you want to make your popsicles out of. You could put M&M's. Waters, oh, yeah. candy, you know? mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, little treats for like in the car or something. Yeah, Caroline would have those stashed all over her room. Yeah, you should see my son's room, he's spoiled too. <laughs> but he's having more and more trouble walking lately, so he's got his like little refrigerator in his room now with like a little stash of snacks and. <laughs> his room mm -hmm. is full of stuff. Mm -hmm. Caroline's like, I want a fridge, Dad. I'm like, oh, yeah, right. You need a fridge. Yeah, my son has a fridge now. But, I mean, he has... Oh, my God. <laughs> he has Don't tell Caroline. Well, my son has trouble well, over... talking, so that's why he gets a fridge. Right. Otherwise, he wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. My husband wanted one too for his office, like a beer fridge. I'm like, no, you can go All to right. the refrigerator. <laughs> All right. Hi, Shelly. For wine? Yeah, although that would be only like a couple sips of wine, probably. <laughs> but I could put wine in here and like put it in my pocket. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Here in Vegas, you could walk around with it if you put alcohol oh, sure. in it. Yeah. You can even have it in the car. So here in Vegas, you can have open containers in the car as long as the driver's not drinking. Wow. So <laughs> all, the, all the passengers can be drinking? Passengers can be drinking. Just not the driver. So open containers are allowed. Isn't that crazy? Mm. It's crazy. That is crazy. Okay. No one's interested. That's cool. Uh, you are up. Europe. 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 All right. So... I got this for myself, but I thought, you know what? This is so so weird. I'm going to offer it up to you guys. And if not, then I'll keep it, but it's cool. Um, it's this. Can you guys guess what that is? It's not leather. It's pleather or, or whatever you call it. But what it is is it goes under your pants and you wrap it around your leg. It's a leg wallet, man. Oh. And, and you put all your cash. So when you're traveling or you're outsourcing and you, you know, you want to keep a couple extra thousands or whatever you have in your pocket, <laughs> if, whatever, or you want to just keep your credit cards, whatever, you keep it safe and, and stashed on your leg. So is that cool? That is pretty I thought, cool. I thought it was great. Yep. So we're gonna start this out of five bucks. Can you keep a gun in there? <laughs> um, I don't think so. In your no. no, I don't think so. Vegan leather, <laughs> patent yeah. leather. Patent leather, vegan leather. Pleather. I don't know. It's it, yeah. It looks good. So, anyways, like I said, I bought this for myself. So when I'm out garage selling, I can if I need a little bit extra money or change or whatever. Mostly, I just thought it was cool. It might be kind of awkward to use. Don't know. Haven't tried. But, uh, yeah. So, there you go. Anybody in on that? Yeah, for travel, for sure. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Anybody in on that? Five bucks. Five bucks. It is cool, Perlini. It is cool. Yeah, and shipping on that would be really low. It'd be, yeah, 283. You know, it's probably like two ounces, three ounces. So that's usually 283. It is held together by hook and loop closures. Hook and loop. 
has two pockets with zippers as well as two pockets for uh cards um yeah this is great it's like a to me it's like a a james bond thing or a a mafia thing where they keep their where they keep their money or i don't know it's just cool it's just the idea of it you know i'm pixelated i am pixelated uh oh and i'm all jammed up too look how do i sound you sound fine Hmm. Um, maybe you want to pop out and come back in see if that yeah i'll do that i'll end this i'll end this okay so if no one's in on this i'm gonna keep it um hi baby good morning oh thank you sweetheart I put it in this mark it okay okay. It okay thank you i'm doing an auction i'm live right now i look bad she says she's wearing her necklace yeah all right I'm going to go pop out of here, guys, because I'm all pixelated. I will be right back. Okay. Oh, and it's me. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and go then if no one was interested in the wallets. Um, let me see what I got. Yeah, that's true. It would be great for Vegas. Vegas is crazy right now. It is crazy scary on the strip right now. It's, um, I don't know. It's, I wouldn't go down on the strip right now. Definitely. No, it's very, very violent. I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, the hotels are desperately trying to get people. So they have like reduced the prices um on everything so they're practically like giving away rooms and um it's causing a lot of unwanted traffic on the strip um and then i guess people that just really don't care whether they get covid or not i have no idea because they're just packing them into the casinos and it's getting very violent. It's like every single day I'm reading in the newspapers about shootings and stabbings and fires. Like people are setting fires in the casinos and they're like stabbing and shooting each other. Like, I don't understand what's going on, but I'm staying far away from the strip right now. Okay. Um, let's see. I have, what do I have? I have baseball cards. These are all open, and I, excuse me, I don't know really much about baseball cards, but this is, let's see, the size of this box is an 8 by 6 by 4 yeah, exactly, crazy fools, an 8 by 6 by 4 full, completely full of baseball cards. I have no idea how many are actually in here. Um but I'll go through some of them with you. I'm starting the whole box at $10 plus whatever it costs to ship it. So this one, let's see what the weight is on it. I got my little scale right here. It weighs four pounds, 13 ounces. So it's pretty heavy. Okay, so I'll go through some of them with you. Um, but I'm starting this box at $10 plus the shipping. Did we lose Todd? Is he coming back? All right. So, yeah, it's completely packed full of cards. So much so I can't even get them out. <laughs> okay. Come on. Trying not to bend them. There we go. All right. So I'll just show you some so you kind of get an idea of what's in here. These are tops. Uh, the year is 2020. I don't know if they're all 2020. Tops 2020. So they're newer cards. They're all tops. Do it this way so you can see the names. I'll just go through some of them quickly. 
whoops, and they're upside down. Can you guys see them okay? There's Todd, he's back. There you are. Hi. You look better now. Good. Okay. So here's some more. Some more. Swing better, 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 better. Swing. Yeah, we should hear more about. Stadium? Oh, what stadium is that? Um, this one is. Well, this is the Dodgers, so Los Angeles. That's what There's, Elvis used to call his grandma, Dodger. Dodgers? Mm -hmm. Miami Marlins. Um, there's some more. Looks like a double, a triple, same card. Anyone interested in these baseball cards? My arm. Some more. Ten dollars to start plus shipping for the whole box. This box is eight by six by four and it's almost five pounds. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I know. There is a lot. Yeah, it only takes Where did one I get them? I got them uh, at a yard sale. But I put them in this box. They were like in a big bag. So I put them in this box. There are duplicates that I noticed. I didn't go through every single one, but like for example, let's see. Um, oh, of course, I can't find one now, but like for example, when I'm going through, see, you'll see there's a couple of the same ones right there. So there are some duplicates. Just see that. And I have, let's see, one, two, three boxes that are like this size. And then I have one other one that has some different cards in it. And I'll show you that one too. So the year on these is tops and they are all 2020. Reseller man, you want it for 10 bucks? And then I've got, like I said, I've got three boxes of these. Do you want all three boxes or do you want just the one? I've got this one. No, you do not need to register. Just if you win something, just send us an email. Yeah, I've got three of them. Send us an email with your information. Yes, so if you win, send your email with your information and donuts. Send donuts. Send donuts. Oh, that sounds good. I know. <laughs> Just one for now? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. All right. So I'll put you down for one. And then uh, it is your turn, Todd. Are you ready? Sweet. Okay. Yep. Here is a Levi's. Oops. Oh, cred. Oh, cred. Okay, there we go. It's a Levi's t shirt. And it's super distressed. It's hard to tell, but it's distressed. Um, I don't know if it's made to look that way. I think it is. And then up in the corner, it says authentic red tab quality workmanship. Um, it is has a screen printed tag, so that tells me it is newer. Oops, bring that. 
right jaw and is it an extra large we're gonna start this at five bucks plus shipping shipping is going to be four ounces probably so three bucks to ship so eight bucks start it's a size extra large solid on the back pretty cool a little distressed t-shirt action trying to change it up i'm not sure what everybody would want so i'm just trying to throw everything out there lord knows there's enough stuff here yeah, so <laughs> speaking of t-shirts hey how do you like this t-shirt that i got guys isn't this cool a friend of mine sent this to me <laughs> i wonder who that is <laughs> And the other shirt I, I still have hanging up. I haven't taken the tags off or worn it. Any coins? Recently, man says any, any coins. coins. I don't have coins. Mm. Yeah, reseller man. I've got a great big coin right here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a belt buckle. I don't know if you saw that one. Or not. Donuts. Hey, pancakes are good. Donuts. Ah, pancakes sound good too. Pancakes are probably one of my favorite foods. <laughs> yeah. I just had pancakes yesterday. Yummy. I make a pretty mean French toast. Oh, my son loves French toast, but he calls it tasty bread. <laughs> oh, nice. He loves tasty bread. <laughs> huh. That's a t-shirt idea right there. Tasty bread? <laughs> have it on there. says tasty bread and have some a piece of French toast with syrup and butter and stuff. Oh, like dripping all over it. Yep. Dang, All right, crazy. nobody's in on this. We'll go ahead and that's a cool shirt. Turn it over to me. It is a really cool shirt. Yeah. Okay, you're up. Okay. Um, coins I do not have. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, I've got. There we go. I have a Thomas Kincaid. Um, like tapestry throw blanket. Let me put it in the chat really quick. So it's, uh, um, this is going to be $10 to start plus the shipping. Um, and it is Thomas Kincaid. Let's see if I can show it to you. It's pretty large. Oh, it's the cottage there. You guys see it? Back up farther. There we go. Really, really pretty. And it's in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with it. Here in the corner, you can see the signature, Thomas Kincaid. There is a tag. Here we go. Here's the tag, you can't see it. It says, Thomas Kincaid, Painter of Light. Um, the year is 2000, so technically it's vintage. It says 100% acrylic, made in USA. Oh, hold on, I'll show you. Where Usually it says the name of the painting, but I don't see that on here. It just says 2000 Thomas Kincaid. Oh, let me see it. I think it's really pretty. Oh, there's a bridge there. I wish I could back up farther so I could show you the whole thing, but. So this is the first half. Right there. This would be pretty to hang on a wall or just to put on your bed. The second part. Anybody interested? Oh, put my chair back. Ten dollars to start plus shipping. Um, let me see if I can find out the size of this thing. It's pretty big, like throw size. 
if I can measure it. 20. So it is 56. Fifty six by doo -doo -doo. come on fifty six by forty seven. You bought one from Avon fifteen years ago. Yeah, Avon does sell Thomas Kincaid items. It would usually say, though, I think, made for Avon or something on it. But this one says Media Arts Group, 2000 Thomas Kincaid. I don't know if you guys can see the tag or not. Oh, there we go. That's a perfect picture right there. You paid almost $50. Yeah, his stuff is still really valuable. There's the signature there at the bottom. They don't put Avon on it? Oh, okay. Anyone interested? It's just like this one? Oh, all right. I don't know. It could have been sold through Avon. Fifteen years ago, I don't know if I was selling A1 fifteen years ago. I think I know I sold it for like at least ten years. I don't know if I sold it for fifteen. But all right, if no one's interested, that's okay. We will pass on it. You ready, Todd? Sure. Yep. All right, you're up. All right, uh, I grabbed some more cards. And what I've got here is a Michael Jordan, something or another. Card number is 420. Let's find a date on here. That is dang, 1994. And on the back, it has the checklist of everything. This is an upper deck, collector's choice, Michael Jordan card. Got a, another Michael Jordan card. I'll be right back, Tom. Okay, sounds good. Dr. Basketball's World of Trivia on the back has a question about Michael Jordan or some information mm -hmm. about him. This is also 1994. Here is a Michael Jordan 1994, golfing, card number 204. These are in plastic. Here is a Shaquille O'Neal, Orlando Magic, 1994, card 232. That's a good one. And what do you have here? Jim Brown and Emmett Smith. Jim Brown and Emmett Smith. Um, these are 2010. Pretty sweet. So we are going to start this. Oh, man. Where should we start this, guys? Where should we start this? Let me go see what the chat's saying. All right. He's watching. Sorry, no bids. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to start one, two, three, four Michael Jordan cards, Emmett Smith uh, versus Ladanian Tomlinson, and Jim Brown versus Adrian Peterson. Vikings. Man, what do we start these at, guys? Let's start these at 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Free shipping. And we'll go there. I haven't looked these up. Uh, maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> maybe I should have. But these are cards that I had pulled out 
cherry picked and set aside about two years ago. And since we're doing this and I've got to put together cash, here I am. I busted them out. So there's that. Michael Jordan action. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Anybody in on that? 20 bucks free shipping. Looks like I pixelated again, guys. Darn it, anyways. I don't know what's going on with my camera or my internet service. Or... Oh, it is snowing. <laughs> it's snowing pretty good out there, so. That could All be All right. It. I'm going to do a countdown on these. 20 bucks for ship. Going once. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Michael Jordan, 4, 3, 2. All right, I'll go ahead and list those on eBay because I'm sitting here thinking, gosh, I should look these things up before I offered them up. So you will see them on eBay next, guys. You are up, my friend. Okay. I got something cool. Hey, John. Thanks for being here, buddy. Okie dokie. I got these cool sets. I have a lot of these. So you can pick from whatever kind you like. So it is a key ring. This can hold your um, like hand sanitizer. It pretty much holds any travel size. Let's see if I got. So I have this one here. Mm -hmm. This is a two ounce, and basically all travel size, or if you have like travel size lotion or whatever too, could fit in here. That so it's like this neoprene mm -hmm. fabric. And then it comes with a matching um, oh, one of those thingies. Yeah, hands-free door <laughs> opener. Yeah. So you can use it for, you know, like the ATM, elevator buttons, door handles, whatever you don't want to touch. I see those everywhere. I'm like, I'm going to get one of those. Yeah, so uh -huh. you get the set. Uh, these are 10 bucks, free shipping. It's just a buy it yeah. now. I have lots of them and I have different colors. So the first the first one is that leopard. The second set is sort of like this tie dye oh, cool. color. And then the third out, one. Uh, where is it at? The third one, no, that's not it. Um, is this camouflage and then it comes with this one it's like little trailers kind of outdoorsy that's the set so it's like a camo camping there's a tie-dye set or there is the leopard hmm. leopard print set mm-hmm so it's ten dollars per set. Buy it now, free shipping. Whatever kind you want. And you can also get these on my website if you don't want to buy it now. You can get it over there too. Those are so cool. Yeah. Have you used one? Do you use one? Huh? Do you use one of those door dealies? I do. Yeah, my husband does too. My husband's cool. in and out of buildings all day long, so he's these are like yeah. really hard acrylic. Uh huh. Nice. And in, in addition to door pull, it's also uh, a protective item. It's you know a weapon if you need it to be. It could be. Yeah. Oh, look at this like little yeah. spiky thing here. Yeah. So you yeah. hook it on the door handle. You can pull it down, pull it forward, whatever. Um, this little part you can use to like push buttons if you're using the ATM or, you know, you're buying something at the store and you don't want to put in your pin, you can touch it with this instead of with your hand. Mm -hmm. Or if you like the lowercase G, 
looks like a lowercase g or a nine or a six. So I mean, multiple things. Whatever letter you want to transform it into. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, some kind of weapon. <laughs> I bet those are going to do real well. Um, are, do you have those on eBay then? Uh, no, I don't sell these on eBay because I have a, um, what is it called? Like a contract with the manufacturer. So I can't sell these on any platform except my own website. Oh, oh okay. I got you. So I have them on rosiescloset.lv.com. Mm -hmm. I get the matching little key ring thing. Now, is this one of those products that... I hear people talking about doing a personal product or brand or whatever you call it. Um, this one, no, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. No one's interested. That's okay. Oh, oh, so that's cool. Where'd the other one go? What are you doing, Caroline? Oh my gosh, we're, <laughs> I got to show you guys. <laughs> I'm going to show everybody. Here. Here, right. Come here. Oh, I can't chase you around with the camera, baby. So. Here, go stand back, back there. Back <laughs> Just stare at the aqua, grab you one. No, I don't want to go get it. You can, you can watch the followers. That's funny. She's all bundled up. You're in Las Vegas. Going back to California on Friday. You're in Las Vegas. Sorry, Where are you in Las Vegas? I'm in Las Vegas. I miss Cali, but... Everyone's like, what am I looking at over here? I miss Las Vegas. Sorry, guys. I mean, I miss Cali. I'm in Vegas. What am I saying? Are you going outside or what? Okay, have fun. Be safe. She's going to go play in the snow. That's awesome. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Where was I at? What was I doing? Um, Nothing. We just passed on the item that I had. So you are oh, up. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right, guys, this is something that I'm pulling out of my personal collection. You've seen it displayed behind me for the last two years. Are you ready? Yep. An eBay game. Oh, my. If you're not buying an eBay game, I don't know, man. <laughs> eBay. It's the whole game. <laughs> um, I've never played it. I just have it for display. Uh, let me show you what it has. It says, you don't have to get online to bid and buy eBay style. Electronic talking eBay game. This is from... And when I saw this, I wanted it so bad. Because it's so cool. Uh, 2001. So inside, it has the instructions. And the little eBay control pad thing with the speaker and it talks and whatnot i have to put some batteries in it but it's all here oops and yeah it's pretty sweet then it has a bunch of cards with the questions and whatnot check them out it's pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and start this at oh man i don't even know let's start this bad boy at 10 bucks plus shipping and it's gonna be let's call it five bucks to ship it so Ten bucks plus five. Ten bucks. And I believe that this is a, some kind of a timer. You're in and your house. The eBay game contents. Your zip code is eight nine zero. I'm in my house. Hey, Lydia, how you doing? Oh, you're way. Hey, Christy, what's it? <laughs> So you're like North Las Vegas. Ebition. Requires three AAA batteries. No computer required to play. That would be fun to do like at a meetup. 
Like a evil meetup. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't played it. But I just thought it looks cool on display because, yeah. All right. If no one's in on this, we'll move her on over to Miss Crystal. We're passing on the eBay game. Wow, okay. No, is that crazy? Right. I never know. Back Post on display. On casino. Okay, yeah, so you are you are up north. I am east, like directly east from the strip. You can go east as far as you can go until you hit the mountain. That's where I am. It's technically called Hollywood. Like Hollywood estates, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Hollywood in Las Vegas, but yeah. <laughs> Hollywood estates. The mountain that I live, like my backyard is the mountain and it's Sunrise Mountain. Okay, I have got for you crafters over there. Um, these are hot fix. Swavorsky crystals. So hot fix are the ones that you use that little tool and then uh, you heat them up and you stick them on whatever you want to stick them on. I used to do um, pageant dresses, like the full on glitz pageant dresses. And so this is what's left <laughs> over from, um, I guess from working on dresses. So I have this little container here. Try not to tip it over. Not all of these are full. So this whole section right here is all empty containers, but all of these are filled with some type of crystal. Um, there is about 1,700 crystals in here. Mm. They are all Swavorsky. So you have different colors. This one is like a blue. Um, this one is... I think this one is just a clear. They're a little hard to see with the light, but this one is just a clear. Uh, let's see, this one is like a lighter blue or like a teal color. Um, and these are, if you're familiar, these are size 16 SS. And then I've got some of these are AB, which means they're like the color changing ones, the Aurora Borealis mm -hmm. crystals. And then these are size 20 SS. There you can see those are AB crystals. So they are like kind of color changing. These are a little bit larger. These are the size 20. And I've got like three of those. There's about 144 crystals in each thing here. Mm. And then this one, this one I think has three gross. So however much that is, 144 times three. And these are just the clear ones. But these are size 20. And then there's one, one really large I'll take it out of the plastic. One really large Swarovski. That's 437. This is an AB. Thank you. This is an AB crystal, although it looks yellow right there because of the light, but it is an AB. I don't know if you can see it. it looks yummy. It looks yummy? Like candy. Like <laughs> candy. <laughs> so um, I'm going to start this at $20 plus the shipping. I'm just going to put crystals in there. So $20 plus shipping. There's about 1700 This is a little container of just like seed beads. Then on top of those crystals, you're also going to get this stuff, which again is just the leftovers from like pageant dresses that I was making. So these are like glue on ones. 
All of these are hot fix, so you can use the little tool to stick them on. But these you would have to glue on or sew on. And then I've got this patch, this patch. Um, two of these bag patches. Thank you. So we have a bid for 20. Does anyone want to come in for 22? Here's a music note. Another flag. Uh, here's a treble clef. Another music note. There are some like lace appliques in here. Did some really fancy pageant dresses. This one. Here's another really nice applique. This one would be like here, maybe on the chest area. It's a purple, pretty purple one, a little purple one. And then there's a bunch of these sequin appliques. I don't know how many are here, it's quite a lot, but a bunch of these like sequin flower appliques. So there's a lot of them. You get all of that plus the container of all of the Swavorsky crystals. $20 is the high bid. Does anyone want to come in for $22? Just the crystals alone are probably close to $100, I'm guessing here. Mm. These are Swaborski, so they're pretty they're pretty pricey. When I was making pageant dresses, um, some of the dresses that I was making, thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollars. Holy bucket! Yep. And one of the um, outfits, it was actually a swimsuit that I made, was on that show, Toddlers and Tiaras. Do you remember that show? <laughs> yeah, vaguely. It was on that show. Uh, that's super cool. One of the swimsuits I made. Oh yeah, and then you get all of these patches and everything too. Yeah, you watch that show? I wish I had a picture of it somewhere. I could show you which one it was, but it was like this little pink it wasn't a glitz, but it was a little pink um, swimsuit with a bunch of ruffles and like some Hawaiian flowers. Mm -hmm. Kind of fan. Nope. No, <laughs> not famous those, at all. How are those moms to deal with? Yeah, that's why I quit. <laughs> uh, that's what I was going to say. They are just as crazy as what you see on television. I'm sure they are. They must be. Yeah. All right, so going once. Is it pronounced Arito Jules? Arito? Arito? I just thought Nydia. <laughs> okay, Nydia. <laughs> going once, going twice. And sold. Dang, that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Lydia. I appreciate you. All I right, like Todd. The yeah, there's some really cool ones in here. Yeah. All right, I'll pass it over to you. All righty. Well, here's an all over graphic print, and it is a runner's shirt. Um, it's made by race trackers enterprises extra large polyester on the front it has a cheetah which is super cool and on the back it has a grizzly bear 
like the baby. running festival. This is just a super cool shirt. This is something that I picked up in Colorado when I was down there last, what was it? January? I think it was January. Right before everything went down, I, I was out there uh, and got this. So we're going to start this bad boy out at, oh, man. Right into the wild. All right, we'll start this at five bucks plus four bucks shipping. So nine bucks. And it's super cool. It's a size extra large. Big grizzly bear running festival. Um, it says the wild, the wild animal sanctuary on the sleeves and on the chest. Running festival into the wild dot org. That is a super cool shirt. Yeah. Love one of those I consider keeping, but I just can't can't see myself wearing it. <laughs> I'll try it someday. Maybe I'll go running. Uh Crystal, please get my information from your brother. From my brother? Are we related, Crystal? We might be. I have a sister named Crystal. <laughs> um, she, she's you're my related sister. to the other Crystal. Yeah. Are you talking about Todd? Is Todd my brother? Because Todd's not my brother, but. No, we're not related. We're just. We're not related. Well, we're all related in the grand scheme of things, but no, we're not related. I mean, unless you're talking about my real brother, but I don't know that. He's not really on YouTube that much, so I don't know. I don't know that anyone knows who my real brother is. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a sec second option then. If that's if you guys aren't into that one, here's this one. This is this is a cute shirt. It has <laughs> it's cute. It has a, a potato. He says, "I am your father," and the French fries are saying no. <laughs> Funny. Isn't that funny? Oh, good morning, Destiny. Hi, Destiny. D E S T I N I E. It's a child size large, 1012, on a Gildan tag. Kid size large. I should show this to Caroline. That's her size. That's cute. Ten, size 1012. Oh, yeah. She thought you were my brother. <laughs> okay. So, also five bucks. Plus shipping. All right. So the French fry shirt. Yeah, French fry shirt or the bear shirt. Five bucks plus three bucks shipping. Why did my phone tell me it's trying to die? I just, it's plugged in. Okay. Right, let's try that. Doo -doo -doo. Five, 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 five. We're looking at five. We're gonna five, 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 five. <laughs> thank you, Crystal. Or thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Christy. Hey, Crystal. Did you ever have a chance to work on that idea that we had? We came up with last week. Ye I forgot. No, I haven't. No? Okay, that's cool. No, that's cool. It's all good. Uh, yeah, that would be cool too. What do you think? Be, so I'm that's definitely in the back of my mind. I do need to work on that. I wanted to see if we can somehow incorporate it into StreamYard. So yeah. I do have like the paid version. So I'm gonna look mm -hmm. and see. That I haven't played around with it really with the different options, but maybe it's something we can just add to the the stream somehow. Yeah. But I'll figure it out. That'd be cool. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end that. T-shirt listing, Dilly. Okay. And this crystal is up. Uh, what do I have? I've got. Oh, I know. Okay. Um. Okay. So, what is happening here? I'm having a bad hair day, you guys. <laughs> okay. <it. laughs> I was rushing this morning. I did not want to get out of bed. When it's like freezing cold, I don't want to get out of bed. It's nice just to stay in bed. Mm -hmm. So I have a sweet pair of Orvis leather boots. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we have uh, Lydia said five dollars on the potato T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Sounds you have good. her information, Todd? Uh, I think I have it in my other my Rolodex. Let me go grab it. Just double check. Go ahead and okay. do your thing. Okay. So this is a pair of Orvis leather boots, perfect for this weather. They are fleece lined. You can see they've got that like really thick. I'm not really Sherpa, but it's like fleece lined boots. So here they are. The leather, the dark brown leather, I guess calf. They don't go all the way up to the knee, so like a calf boot. They're in great condition. You can see the, they're a little bit dusty, but they're not like, um, scuffed or marked or anything like that you can see the soles are pretty pretty new the size is 6b so it's made in canada i don't know if you guys can see that or not but uh the size oh yeah size 6b made in canada there's the orvis label there i don't know if there's another one Let's see. it doesn't say orvis inside unless i can't see it because it's dark but so there it says orvis right there and i think my friend got these in norway um, but they're just too hot to wear in Vegas. We don't get that cold here with the fleece lining and everything. So she sells a lot of her stuff that she has bought in Norway. They're a size 6B, right? Size 6B. So I'm starting these at $20 plus the shipping. They are leather. They're in really nice condition. So she goes back and forth to Norway a lot. So she does have like a lot of warm clothes, but she doesn't wear a lot of them. You can see they're like in perfect condition. They're beautiful. I wish they would fit me, but they're just a little bit too small. I know I've heard my sister and my mom uh, mention that brand. Yes, this brand is pretty expensive. Um, yeah, it's, it's still a hot brand to sell on Poshmark and on eBay. Yeah. It's the real deal. So I'm starting at 20 plus the shipping. What is the equivalent here? I go into Google and I'll type in... Uh you know, the shoe size, and then you can get cross-reference. Um, well, I'm pretty sure these are a size six because oh. I wear a six and a half, and these are just a little bit snug. Okay. So I'm sure that is the U.S. size. That American. It says made in Canada. Okay. Wait, let me double check. Beauty. Beauty, eh? Yeah, and I know her and I have the same size foot. Because we share shoes. <laughs> She's like my sister. I mean, we share everything. We go into each other's closets. Although she's a lot tinier than me. But we still share everything. Yeah, these are size 6. So they just, they're a little bit tight on me. So, size 6. And Lydia... Lydia, I looked through my Rolodex and through my other dilly. I must have had your address written down. So uh, go ahead and when you pay through PayPal, here I'll put my PayPal up there. Uh, go ahead and include your address once again, and I will make a note in my hard copy dilly here. Thank you very much. Yeah, so there's the... Hello, Don. So there's the lining. It's hard to see because it's dark. But nice thick fleece. These are going to be super warm. Mm. There's the tag if you can see it. Yeah, nice 
six B Orvis. It's really pretty brown. They're soft too, really soft leather. Mm. If no one's interested, that's okay. Oh my gosh. How much what are you starting those at? 20 bucks? Oh my gosh. Twenty dollars. Mom, are you watching? Mom, are you watching? <laughs> Crystal, are you watching? <laughs> I don't know if my sister's watching. I don't, I don't know. I talked to my mom, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Crystal must be here. Good morning, Crystal and Todd. It's Crystal's sister. Okay, yeah, she is there. Did you see that? She just had or some Orvis boots up there, Chris. Yeah. Oh, you want me to show them one more time? Just for like five seconds. Yes, I am here. Okay, good. So here they are. They're a little bit dusty, but they're not. Um, I guess I should have cleaned them up, huh? <laughs> a little bit dusty, but they are in perfect condition. They look almost brand Orvis. new. Yeah. Yeah, the brand is right there, Orvis. You can see it. So I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get boots, do you clean them? Do you condition them? And if so, what do you use? Um, it depends. So like leather ones like this, mm -hmm. I will use, I got this stuff, MFS, leather, protection. leather okay. protector. Okay. You use that. You can also use that like on leather coach bags. Yep. Or like, okay. well, any leather bags, really, handbags. Mm -hmm. um, if it's other shoes, I do have another cleaner, but I can't. It's way over there. But <laughs> I do have another cleaner to use um, on regular shoes. But I don't really buy shoes anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't like cleaning them. <laughs> it's easier just to list clothing for me. I can just throw it in the washing machine. So it's easy. Yeah. Once in a while, though, if I do find a pair of shoes, especially like something like this, where it's in really great condition, there's not much I have to do to it. Um, I'll still pick those up. But if I got to do a lot of cleaning and stuff, not interested. Yeah. I just don't have the time. So they're size 6B. I wear six and a half. These are a little bit small for me. So it is a true size six. How much? They are $20 to start plus shipping. I bet each one of those is a little over a pound. Um, I bet this is about three pounds. No, I don't think it's that much, but let me double check. I think together they're going to be a little over a pound. That's a lot of cow there. One pound, let's say 10 ounces. For both pair? For both, yeah. Okay, cool. So they're not that heavy. It would still have to go priority, though. Right. Hey, Jeff. I don't know if I said hi or not, but hi. All right. Anyone interested? If not, we'll go ahead and pass. They are nice soft leather, too. They smell good. Uh, <laughs> oh, I smell good. Smell good. Cringe. Yeah. Um, what's next? It looks like maybe she wore them once. <laughs> You'll message later. Okay. Yeah, no problem. You have my info, so just message me if you want them. Um, All right, you're up, Todd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't even know what to choose anymore. Um, well, I remember last week I had said something about these. I've got a bunch of these, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of these up there. Here's going to be your choice. 20 bucks plus shipping. I have your info. Oh, oh, on Messenger. Okay, Lydia, I'll go back and look there. I knew I had it somewhere. Uh, we'll start these at 20 bucks a pop. You, your choice. This one has LED lights and it's all fancy. Is that one this rechargeable? One, or is it? Um, I, think, I think both of these. These are both quarter, but if you want a rechargeable, I, I think I've got one over there. So 20 bucks plus shipping. This one's a little bit lighter than this one. I think it's because the cardboard's heavier, but either way, 20 bucks plus shipping. Uh, we'll call it five bucks for shipping on these. Are they brand new? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
brand spanking new, never been used. I bought, I've got like three of these, three of these, and I've got some other styles as well. Yep. I had invested in these uh, when the pandemic, you know, when this whole thing started, I was like, okay, people are going to need these kind of things. And they sell, yeah. but it slowed down since people kind of gotten lax. I know. I need a new one. Let me go check my other one and see if, if I've got uh, a cordless for you. Well, I'll set this like this, this like this. Yeah, that would be cool. If you have a cordless one, that would be cool. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me see. All right, so it's the hair clippers. And he said $20 to start plus the shipping. <clears throat> So it's choice. Hey, Bluegrass, how are you? Right up your alley? You looking for some clippers? Okay, here's some other options. Uh, but yeah, this one's corded. Wall. And then I do have this one. It's a groomer, triple play battery groomer, wall home products. Um, Self sharpening. Oops, maybe I should put my headphones in. I, duh. All right. If you can hear me now. Self sharpening precision blades, 12 pieces, three in one groom trim, groom a detail. This one is, it's got a nose hair trimmer, a detail trimmer, a five position, a five position guide for shaving your head, and three beard combs in case you want to grow a beard. And that one is cordless. So. Hmm. You guys there? Hello? Is anyone at home? I'm home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm here. Can I take the black one in the middle? This one? Yep. And this is cool because when you want to cut your hair in the dark, it's got a headlight on it. <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be dangerous, I think. <laughs> no? I don't know. I've Shave got a headlight on my lawnmower. Shave off an eyebrow yes, or your ear. <laughs> All right. All right. So we got Miss Crystal. She wants the middle one. Does anyone else? Anyone else want one? Because I've got two more of these and I've got multiples of the others. Crystal. I S T A L. She wants the vertex. Kobe. I was just saying, what was it yesterday? 25. No, on Sunday. As I was cutting my husband's hair, I was like, we really need some new clippers. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, would I save shipping like seven bucks? Because these are what? How much? Yeah, probably. I, just, I always want the shipping to be just right spot on for you guys. Um, but the reason I'm charging shipping is I hadn't charged shipping in the past. And a few of them didn't turn out so good. I know. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I... <laughs> crazy out of control right now to ship things. Yeah, so uh, that's why I started charging shipping. Um, so this is 11 ounces, so still going to be able to go first class. Um, 11 ounces is like what six bucks, five bucks. Six yeah, bucks. you can message me if you want the exact amount. So, oh, yeah, I'll do that. You know what? Maybe that's the best way to do it is to do it that way. Yeah, okay. just message so me. I'll, I'll, for you. I'll send it to you. Okay, thank you. Told you for those. Yeah, thank you. Anyone else interested in cutting their own hair? Get yourself some clippers. Yeah, I cut my own hair. It looks like I need to cut it again. I got chunks hanging out back here. Yeah, All I right. usually cut my own hair too. Unless I'm doing like a really big drastic change, then I'll go to the mm -hmm. salon. But otherwise, I cut my own. And then I cut my yeah. husband's and my son's too and both my dogs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Save the money. It's too expensive. Serious. Hey, what's up, Anthony? Thanks for being here, buddy. All right. Uh, All right. You are up, ma'am. I guess I'm up. What do I got Boy, now? I'm mess. Clean up. Oof -da. Okay, this is more cards. But this is a different box of cards. These are all baseball cards. I wish I knew more about them, but I don't really. But, again, it is a 8 by 6 by 4 probably about five pounds a little over mm. four pounds all baseball cards 
but you can see underneath the stack there is more, whoops, where's my camera? There we go, more cards. So these are like this side over here is this, um, what is the brand? Hold on one second, guys. There's too many in here to get them out. There we go. This is Panini. Is that how it's pronounced? Panini. Like the sandwich. <laughs> Panini brand. So those are Panini. And the year on these are 2000. Oh, they're 2020. And then there is a row here of older cards. And the ones that are here on the top are older cards. So these are tops and they're different years. So this one is like 87, um, 91, 87, 87. So I'm starting this box. It's uh, $10 plus shipping. Yeah, I'll go through. I'll show you um, a bunch of different cards. Now here's some of the older ones. Let's see. I'll just kind of go like this. Since there's so many in here. Well, these are some of the older ones. Um, there is two of these. I don't know what these are. They say tops on the back. And there is one of these. There we go. And then, let's see, I'll pull out some of the other cards for you. My fingers don't want to work today, that's all. I think it's my nails are in the way. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there we go. So again, these look like there are some duplicates, but I'll show you some. Where's the name at? There we go. Okay. So these are the Panini uh, 2020. Some duplicates. Oh, just one more. Yeah, see how there are some that are like double, triple. Handle with gloves. My hands are clean. <laughs> Yeah, so there's. You know, there's a baseball player named Anthony Rendon. Oh, really? Uh, I should call him up. Hey, what's up, cuz? <laughs> what's up, cuz? Here's some of these. These are score 1994. We'll say score. And I'll show you some of those. Upside down.
I met um, Derek Jeter one time. I had no idea who he was. <laughs> and I was like standing in line. We were at like this, um, I forget what it's called. It's kind of like a baseball park. Mm -hmm. um, it's like where they uh, replicate the different stadiums around the United States and the kids play baseball there. Mm -hmm. Well, we were over there watching like some little league games and um, I was at the concession stand and he was standing behind me and we were just chatting like he was just some random person. I didn't know who he was <laughs> mm -hmm. until awesome. someone told me and I was like, oh, okay. I don't know. He was nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, you can get an autograph? Like, no, I don't know who he was. Okay, my arm's tired. Anyone interested? Yeah, no problem. Uh, just get in touch with me later if you're interested. And if I still have them, you're welcome to them. Ten bucks for the whole box plus the shipping. Just a couple of different brands of cards in there. I got lots. I know. Unfortunately, I don't really know much about baseball. I like to watch sometimes just for fun, but I don't really know a lot about the sport. So. Consistency is the hardest thing in baseball, Mr. Consistent. Oh, got it. Oh, fingerprints. Yeah. Well, these are all open. I'm sure they've been touched by a lot more than just my hands. <laughs> you broke it, Crystal. You broke I it, man. I almost the box on my head. <laughs> I know I broke it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pass on those for now, I guess. I'll send it back over to you, Todd. Oh, okay. Hey, how's it going, guys? All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> choices. What, what? What should I auction here? I've got, I've got some cool stuff here. I've got cards. I can't go through them, but I can tell you who's on here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a lot. This is gonna be a lot right here, and it's gonna contain a Coca-Cola. Toothpick dispenser. Looks like a uh, little Coke machine kind of thing. Open it up, put your toothpicks in there, and there you go. So that's going in with it. Here is a Vikings. What year is this from? 2009. And inside here included is... Adrian Peterson, Bernard Berrien, Chad Greenway, Chester Taylor, Aaron Henderson, Jared Allen, John David Booty, Sidney Rice, Tavares Jackson, uh, Viseth Shayako or something, and Percy Harvin. So the two I recognize out of here is Adrian Peterson and Tavares Jackson. So there's that. Here's an evil Knievel action figure. Everybody loves those. A little Evil Knievel action. And two empty Winchester. They're not, they look like Winchester shells, but they were actually Avon containers or cologne dillies. Mm -hmm. Deep woods and deeper woods on a wild country. Yep, that's it. So. Two of those, this little deal here, the cards, and the Coca Cola thing. We're going to start this whole deal out at 10 bucks plus shipping, and we're going to call it, I don't know, five bucks to ship it. Yeah, we'll call it five bucks to ship it. It'll probably be a solid five. So 10 and five. There we go. And these are really cool these each one is about I don't know, four inches tall or something 
And this guy has had his fair share of crashes. But he still has his stripes down the side. And it's pretty cool. And I think the date on him is 77. Let's see. 1976. 1976. I was three years old. Woohoo. Yeah, he's super cool. Hey, that right on. And if anyone's in on this. All righty. Looks like I got pixelated again. Darn it. And slow down. It may just Anybody? be the weather. I'm sure it is, yeah. All right. Anyone Coco interested action. in this cool lot? I like the Coca-Cola thing. Yeah. Rolling. Okay, we'll go in five, four, three, two, one. You are up, Crystal. Okay. Do you want to do just a couple more? Because I probably have yeah, to I think going so. about ten. Yeah. At the latest, so okay. Yeah, um, okay. all right, I have a men's clothing lot, so it's there's five pieces total, they are all size large. Um, I'm starting it at ten dollars, oops, not four hundred and ten dollars, starting at ten dollars plus the shipping. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> there we go. Uh, for the men's lot. Okay. So this is a jockey size large. It is a sweatshirt. Full zip sweatshirt. All these pieces are in perfect condition. No stains, no holes, nothing. A long sleeve sweatshirt. Uh, it does have the reflective stripe on the back. So it is like a running running sweatshirt. Um, this one is a Vessi and a size large. This is a cool, I love this shirt. I almost want to keep this for myself. <laughs> This is a really cool black and white and red plaid shirt, button down. Here's the back. This is, what is the brand here? It says X series, size large. This is a Callaway. Uh, this is a really nice shirt. Mm -hmm. Size large, X Series Callaway Golf Polo. It's like a blue and white stripe. It's a nice thick athletic fabric. I just showed this shirt, Todd. I thought you would like this one. That is fresh. Is it a Vans? No, it's a vintage Vessi, huh. size large. Yeah, that is super cool. It is sweet, right? Yeah. I know. I almost want to keep it for myself. <laughs> keep and wear it. You should. This is a Burnside size large. There's the tag. This one is pretty sweet, too. So it's kind of I like a blue and gray. Are those pearl snap? I can't tell from here. No. 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 They're just regular like blue buttons. Okay. And the last shirt is this one. It is a PD and C size large. Oh, let me button it real quick here. This is probably the most expensive one out of all of them. And it's kind of like a I don't know, like a bluish gray color. It's kind of showing green on there, but it's like a bluish gray color. Mm -hmm. Button down. So you get all five shirts, $10 starting bid plus shipping. P 
PD and C. What a bargain. Yeah, this is a really nice top. Yeah, it's like a bluish gray, kind of like this uh, textured looking fabric. And then it has like little tiny, tiny polka dots around the collar. Is it almost like a linen texture? It looks like it would be linen, but I think it's just cotton. Let me see. It doesn't feel like linen, but it looks like linen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a cotton blend. Yeah, it looks like linen, but it doesn't feel like linen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get that one. That's one. This one is two. I love this shirt. Yeah, it looks it western. Is. Almost. Screen. Yeah. But it doesn't the... have like the yoke in the back. There's no yo in the back, yo. There's no yo in the back. No, it's just the front. It does have these like tabs on the side. Mm -hmm. So that one's number two. This one's number three. Yeah, that's cool. More like a skater brand. Mm -hmm. Sure. This one is number four. Callaway Polo. That one, I'll show you the pattern closer up. You like that? Yeah, see, that's what I thought too. I thought of Todd when I saw this shirt. <laughs> and then you got the running, oh, the sleeve is tucked inside. Like the running hoodie, this one. This is soft. It's really nice. And it's got the reflective thing on the back. Yeah, that's super cool. Yep, it's got pockets. So all of that, oh, $10 starting bid. Yeah. Anyone interested? Well, restrain yourself, Todd. Restraint. Restraint. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking, gosh, I could buy the lot, keep that one shirt, sell the rest, and I'm good. <laughs> this one? You like this one? Is this the one you wanted? Yeah, I think I might. Uh, if anybody is not else, if anyone else isn't in on it, I think I might have to get in on that because it's a size large. Yep, I'm a size large. Yeah, it's your size. You know, the thing is, yeah, we will never need more stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> That's true. I mean, it's I, like, okay. I keep yeah. buying and buying and buying. I got a right. storage unit. Did I tell you that? Oh, man. I did. Because I needed the space in my office so that I can still oh, take okay. and everything. I see what you're saying. Yeah, and I didn't want my business to overflow into the house. Mm -hmm. So I got a storage unit just for the inventory that has not been listed. Oh, boy. How far away is it from the house? It's like two blocks. Oh, okay, nice. It's literally, like, less than five minutes away. So You jump on your skateboard and you're there. I could. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a skateboard. <laughs> I was thinking about getting, like, one of those little Vespa scooters or something. <laughs> yeah. But then where would I put all my stuff, like my big totes? Yeah. You pop them willies. <laughs> all right. If no one else is interested, I'll send this to Todd. All right. That's awesome. I like right. that one, Todd. Wear that. This is awesome. You can wear it on the next auction. Yeah. There we go. All right. Yep. Sold to Todd. All right, guys. I've got something fun coming up, something different, something you're not going to see anywhere else. Anywhere, 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 except for here. So, what I have. And I know we've got some Gen Xers in here. We've got people that will remember this. But I've got a little pulp, cu pulp culture, pop culture for you. I've got 
ET necklaces. What? And I've got a couple different styles. You know, ET phone oh. home. Oh, yeah. I know. ET phone home. I've got that one. I've got it in brown. I also have just the finger that has a red red tip on it. Oh my gosh, that's creepy that looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is creepy. What is that? Oh, it's a finger. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Wow, those are cool. They're weird, huh? And I've never really seen them anywhere else. So yeah, when I saw these, gosh, I've had these for a little bit, but I'm going to start those at five bucks each plus shipping. Be another three bucks for shipping. So five bucks each. Yeah, just super cool. If you're into ET. Now, everybody, tell the truth. How many people cried when they saw ET? I know that I did. I was like uh, about seven years old or something. And I cried. I'm like, ET can't die. When did ET come out? Uh, it was about 81 ish. About 81. 80, okay. 80, I, was a, I was one. <laughs> <laughs> possibly two 82 i don't know but i know it, i was just little what year were you born 82 i was born at 80, 80? Oh, okay five bucks plus shipping on your choice pick one of the three styles if you're in on it They're pretty cool pretty cool they are pretty cool Pop culture. All right. That's it. Nobody's interested. Those are awesome. <laughs> I think so. Oh, I just wear one today. No. All right. And so if you're not interested in that, and then this is going to be my last item, guys. Okay. Last item for me is going to be a Crystal's Crystallize with Saborski. Saborski. Crystal sterling silver plate, earrings, and necklace set. And it has an MSRP on the back of 30 bucks. So I'm going to start this at 10 bucks. Plus shipping will be probably 280. I call it three bucks. Three bucks for shipping. It's 10 bucks. And you own it. And what were you calling that luminescent color or what or it changes uh, it's colors it's called a b well they say okay. a b but it's aurora borealis oh yeah, yeah aurora borealis i don't know if that's what this is or not looks like carnival glass kind of yeah then that's probably what it is yeah you could wear them you could sell them i just got a text message from gary v leave me alone gary v yeah, we have a Swavorsky store here at Caesar's Palace. Mm -hmm. They have some amazing stuff in there. It's so pretty. And you walk in and like everything is like shiny and <laughs> right in I your bet. face. Huh. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Crystal. Thanks, guys. You are up, my friend. All right, so I guess this will be the last two from me also. Okay. And then we'll just call it a day. Where get are to they? Shipping. Oh, right. Get to right shipping. Right get to shipping. All right, so first up in the spirit of Halloween, we've got Jack Skellington. Nice. Um, and then this one I'm starting at $15 plus shipping. This is awesome. It's very, uh, I guess, rare because I haven't seen too, too many of them. So it's Disneyland Resort. Mm -hmm. This one is a size large. And it is a Jack Skellington jersey. Let's see mm. it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the front. Well, it's got this cool 
skeleton on the shoulders, mm -hmm. kind of this barbed wire look on the sleeves. And then on the back, it says skeleton hmm. right there. And then it's got like these big fabric numbers. It's not cracked. Hmm. It's like that on purpose. Mm -hmm. well, these big fabric numbers, 93. Really cool. That is really, 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 really cool. Yeah. Super cool. It's a size large crystal. Yes, size large. Size large. Disneyland Resorts. There's a tag, mm. size large. So up close, you can see this is kind of like a, see the jersey mesh fabric. Mm -hmm. Mm, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I bet Christopher, Christopher would need probably a 2X. A 2X? Yeah, my, my nephew. Oh. C Christopher Todd. It's a pretty big large. The t-shirt I'm wearing is a size large. And uh -huh. this says it's a large. Jeez. Well, that's pretty big. Let me see. Yeah. Let me measure across the chest area here. Hold on, let's see. I bet it's gonna be 22, 23 inches across. This 25. Oh my gosh, that's a 50 inch it's chest. It's a big large. Yeah, that's, that's big. Yeah, so it's almost like a 50 inch chest. Yes, he is pretty big, because this shirt right here is a size large. Mm-hmm. And it's a little baggy on me because I usually wear a medium. So this is a, a true large. What is an and interrupter? This one, it's big. What is the interrupters? The interrupters is a, like a ska band. Oh, okay. I think I sent you some of their music before. Oh, okay. I didn't put two and two together. Yeah, it's kind of like my favorite favorite band at the moment. Favorite band of the moment. Well, my all-time favorite is actually Marilyn Manson. I'm a really? huge Marilyn Manson fan. Yes. Wow, I would have never guessed that. <laughs> I'm a huge Marilyn Manson fan. And I've been a Marilyn Manson fan for as long as I can remember. Whoa. But I don't always listen to that. I have to be in a mood to listen to Manson. <laughs> okay, no one's interested in that one? That's all right. I'll do my last item. This is fun. This is, um, I guess you can either do a fabric lot with this, or you can just sell them in pieces or just have fun with this. I don't know what you want to do with it, but I'm starting this at, what am I starting it at? $10 plus shipping. So the first, and there's several pieces, one, two, three, four, five pieces. Let me put it in the chat so everyone can see here. Oh, it's $10 plus ship for the fabric. Okay. So the first one is, this is vintage Barney. There was a date on here. Where did I see it? Oh, were those sheets? This one is actually a curtain panel. Oh, okay. Oh, this is vintage Barney. I bet that's 97. And if you're a crafter like me, you just look at this as fabric. <laughs> so he would yeah. do something fun with it. Um, or you could make it into like a toddler sheet if you wanted to. It's not really big enough for like a twin, but maybe like a toddler bed or crib sheet you could do that or you could use it for what it was intended for as a curtain so that would be the first piece barney the second one is a pillowcase and it is spongebob <laughs> hmm. 
It's just one pillowcase, but yeah. SpongeBob. 25 across. Uh, it's across the chest, so armpit to armpit. So there is um, SpongeBob pillowcase. And I didn't find any stains or holes. Mm -hmm. I've done real well with uh, pillowcases in the past. Yes, this vintage stuff is hot. Mm -hmm. This it's, is yeah, a toddler size. Look at this vintage one. Toy Story. Mm -hmm. Toy Story so 1. This, this is a toddler bed size Toy Story sheet. Yeah. Oh. That's really cool. There's that one. There's no holes or stains on that one either. This one is a fitted sheet and it is Toy Story. Well, it doesn't have the characters on it, but it is Toy Story. But it mm -hmm. says Woody, Rex, Buzz, Ham, Slinky. And it is a fitted, again, for a toddler bed. This one does have a few little marks on it. So you can see, let's see if I can find one. They're tiny, but I'll show you. Of course, now I can't even find them. Okay, so there's, can you see that right there? Little tiny one there. And there's a couple more tiny ones like that on this fabric. Uh, yeah, there, there's one there. You almost don't even notice it because it just kind of blends in with the crazy design. Oh, there's one. I see. Right there. That one. Okay, so there's that. And the last piece is like the coolest of all of them. And this one is in perfect condition. It's like freaking brand new. This one does have a tag. Let me see. There we go. Can't see it because of the light. It's Disney. It is a twin size. And again, it is true vintage. Look at this, you guys. Is that a pillowcase? No, it's a twin size oh, flat. Okay. Yeah. So it's got all the characters on it. Wow. That. You know what you could do with that? A person could do with that is uh, cut those squares out and sew them onto the back of jean jackets. I remember oh, back in cool in, the eight, in the eighties, uh, a lot of we call them stoners, but they were just rockers, you know, long hairs, mm -hmm. whatever. Would cut out their poison or whatever band T-shirt that was old, and it sewed on yeah. the back of their and back patches were big on jean jackets. But that's what yes. I see with that. That is a cool idea, and I might do that. If nobody wants this. You should. That's what I would do. I was trying to think, like, what can I do with this? Yeah, and then sell it. Because each one would be more than enough. I mean, look how many jackets you can get out of that thing. A lot. Yeah. Like, There's yeah. one, two, three, four, five going this way, and one, two, three, four. So there's 20 on here. <laughs> Man, I just got to find 20 jean jackets. I just so happen to have a couple. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, like, for some of these with the smaller print, like face masks mm -hmm. would be cool. Especially, like, this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. SpongeBob face mask. Barney. You could turn this one into, like, two separate pillowcases. Yeah, and a lot of mine, I was like, geez, why do I only have one pillowcase? Well, most kids only sleep in a twin bed. They don't have a king or a queen, so they don't need right, pillowcases. You remember yep. patching up your Levi's, yeah? Yeah, I remember the patches, too. We used to put patches, like, on the knees of our jeans, and we would draw all over our Levi's with Sharpie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or our shoes. 
Oh yeah, our shoes are on our Converse and yeah. All right, ten bucks for all of those. For all the, they're all vintage. Yeah, book covers. This one may not be vintage. There's no tax, so I'm not positive on that one. But the rest of them, yes. I think SpongeBob came out in like what 2007 or. Oh, SpongeBob has been on forever. Really? I think it came out before that, but I don't remember exactly. So I don't think anyone's interested. Hmm. We got 22 thumbs up. We appreciate that, guys. We appreciate your time. You've spent over two hours with us today. So that's awesome. Almost three. Almost, Almost three, three hours now. Oof. Wowzers. Yep. All right. Well, well what are you, you going to be doing today? I'm going to go do my shipping. I'm going to go upstairs, see what Samantha is up to, see what Caroline is up to. Um, and then probably head out to the farm. I don't know if we're staying at the farm tonight. I think it's, I don't know. We've got a lot going on, but it's going to be a busy day. Just be happy. Enjoy it. Yeah, me too. I'm probably, I know I got to get to the UPS store. I got to ship out some of this stuff that you guys just bought. Mm -hmm. Um, I got tons of pictures I got to do for Vicky, get everything done. Mm-hmm. I usually take her all of her stuff tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I got a busy day too. Well, good. That, that's good. Makes the day go. All right, guys. Well, thanks for being here, Crystal. Thank you for hosting this again. <laughs> no problem. And I Thank you, everybody, you. for hanging out with us for almost three hours. Uh, we will be back again on Tuesday, next Tuesday morning. Same time, same bat channel. <laughs> uh, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So whatever time that is, wherever you are. Nine o'clock. We saw room just Seven. entered. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. All right, we'll see you guys so, later. Yep, we will see you all later. Have a great day, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.